Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sarayas. So I was talking about structural isomers. I will continue my video lesson for structural isomers. What are structural isomers? Structural isomers are compounds that have same molecular formula but different structural formula. same molecular formula but different structural formula now if you look at this we find different structural isomers of butane. Here we have molecular formula of butane is C4H10. If you draw the structural isomers of this butane, so one formula will be like this. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. And if you want to draw the displayed formula of this it will be like this one two three four now i'm placing hydrogen atoms the other isomer will be drawn in such a way that there must be branching in between this is a straight chain so the structure formula for the isomer of butane will be like this. CH3, CH bracket, CH3, then bracket closed, CH3. Now the CH3 in bracket, it shows that it must be attached to this carbon. So if you draw the displayed formula of this isomer, it will be like this one, two, now CH3 is attached to third carbon, so I will draw like this C. Now I'm placing hydrogen atoms for each carbon. So this will be the second isomer of butane. Now I'm going to draw the isomers of butene. The molecular formula of butene is C4H8. This is according to the general formula of but alkene, which is CNH2N. Here N is 4. If you draw the first structure, it will be a straight chain. It will be like this, CH3. CH2, CH double bond, CH2. You know that there must be carbon, carbon double bond in butene as it is alkene. Now I'm drawing the displayed formula of this alkene. One, two, three, four. Now you see the double bond between the third and fourth carbon. In fact, we'll start counting from the right hand side. One from this side. The reason is that the double bond is between on this carbon, between these two carbons. Now placing the hydrogen, saturating our carbons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the display formula for the butene will be like this. Now the other isomer of this butene will be like this. You can change the position of carbon, carbon, double bond. If you want to draw the isomer of butene, you can simply change the position of this double bond. So it will be like this CH3, CH double bond, CH, CH3. Now the displayed formula for this will be one, two, double bond, C, C. 
one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four this is a structural isomer of butene alternatively you can watch these videos for the isomers of alkene and isomers of alkene what are functional groups now there are atoms they are group of atoms or atom that are responsible for the chemical characteristic properties of any homologous series responsible for chemical properties of a homologous series I'm giving you some examples. For example, in alcohols, we have one OH. This is the first member of alcohol. Methanol, second member. I'm writing the name. Second member, ethanol. There are two carbon atoms in ethanol. If you see the common thing in both of these is that they both contain same group of atoms, which is OH. These are functional groups. Functional groups. We call it hydroxyl. So the chemical characteristic properties of this alcohol, these alcohols will depend on the presence of this OH. Now, homologous series. The general characteristics of homologous series, they have same functional group. In a homologous series of family, same functional group. For example, in alkenes, carbon, carbon, double bond. All the members have at least one carbon, carbon, double bond. Alcohols, higher up group. And carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid have carboxyl group. For your convenience, I am drawing these groups. Carbon, carbon double bond will be like this. Hydroxyl will be like this. Carboxyl, C double bond, OOH, it will be like this. But the, the homologous series, they have the same general formula, follow same general formula. Alkanes, all alkanes, they follow same general formula, which is CNH2N -N plus 2. Alkenes, they all follow this general formula. You can easily predict the molecular formula of any member. Alcohols, CnH2n plus 1 OH. So this is one of the characteristics. Now, each member differs by CH2 group. Each successive member differs by CH2 group or you can even call it 14 units. In the marking key, in the syllabus learning outcome, they are saying CH2 units. So you can even write CH2 units or groups. Now there's a trend. Trend in physical properties. Trend in physical properties means if any property is increasing, it will 
increase on showing a regular trend. For example, melting point, boiling point increases. Melting point, boiling point. increases as carbon chain increases. So this is the trend. Now all the family members, they have same chemical properties, same chemical properties. Alternatively, you can watch the videos for this homologous series. Saturated compounds, compounds which contain carbon, carbon single bond. Compounds. Yet, in fact, we are talking about only organic compounds. Compounds which contain only carbon, carbon single bonds. Unsaturated compounds. Unsaturated compounds, they contain carbon, carbon double bond. So the SLO says in which one or more carbon, carbon bonds are not single. When they are saying not single, it means it must be either double or triple covalent bond. Organic compounds. in which one or more carbon-carbon bonds are not single. Alternatively, you can forge the video for alkenes. You'll find the details here. But thanks for watching. Press like and share my videos. Give comment. For more videos, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.